The fact that the unicorn is the national animal of Scotland is a fascinating blend of history, culture, and mythology. At first glance, it might seem puzzling why a country known for its rugged landscapes, strong sense of identity, and deep connection to history would choose a mythical creature, one that has never existed in the physical world, to represent itself on such an official level. But as we delve deeper into this choice, we start to uncover a complex web of symbolism, cultural heritage, and the very nature of myth itself. To begin, the unicorn has long been associated with purity and grace in Western mythology. Its origins trace back to ancient civilizations, including the Greeks and Romans, who wrote about the unicorn as a powerful yet elusive creature, often depicted in texts and tapestries as something almost divine. The ancient Greeks described the unicorn not as a mythical creature, but as a real animal from faraway lands, possibly inspired by travelers' tales of rhinoceroses or oryxes. Even in these early texts, the unicorn was portrayed as untamable, a creature that could only be approached by the pure of heart, further emphasizing its connection to the ideals of innocence and virtue. But why would Scotland, a country with a proud history of resistance, independence, and a deeply ingrained warrior ethos, choose such a creature to embody its national identity? To answer that, we need to look at Scotland's own mythological and historical traditions. Scotland is a land steeped in legends, where the lines between history and mythology are often blurred. Its landscape is dotted with ancient castles, standing stones, and locks, which have inspired countless tales of heroes, monsters, and mystical beings. The unicorn, in this context, fits seamlessly into Scotland's tradition of storytelling and its cultural affinity for blending the real with the fantastical. In medieval Scotland, the unicorn began to appear in heraldry, especially in the 12th century, when the animal was first used in the royal coat of arms of Scottish kings. The unicorn was chosen because it was seen as the strongest of all animals, an unyielding, proud creature that would rather die than be captured. This, of course, resonated deeply with the spirit of Scotland, a nation that throughout its history fought fiercely for its independence, often against overwhelming odds. The unicorn, in many ways, became a symbol not only of purity but also of resistance and defiance, reflecting Scotland's struggle to remain free from external domination, especially during its long and often tumultuous relationship with England. The unicorn's appearance on the royal coat of arms is significant for another reason, it is often depicted with a golden chain around its neck, which might seem paradoxical at first for a creature meant to symbolize freedom. However, this image can be interpreted in a few different ways. Some historians suggest that the chained unicorn represents the idea that even the most powerful of creatures can be tamed by a true sovereign, a reflection of the relationship between the monarchy and the people of Scotland. Others believe that the chain symbolizes the often delicate balance between freedom and responsibility, an acknowledgement that with great power comes the need for restraint. Interestingly, the association between the unicorn and Scotland was solidified even further in 1603 when James VI of Scotland became James I of England, uniting the crowns of the two nations. The Royal Coat of Arms of the United Kingdom, which remains in use today, features a unicorn for Scotland and a lion for England, each representing the unique identities and histories of the two countries. The lion, of course, is often seen as the quintessential symbol of power, courage, and sovereignty. In contrast, the unicorn, while equally powerful, brings a sense of mysticism and moral purity, suggesting that Scotland's role in the Union was to provide not just strength but also wisdom and integrity. The choice of the unicorn as Scotland's national animal can also be seen as a reflection of the Scottish people's deep connection to the natural world, and by extension, to the fantastical creatures that inhabit their folklore. Scotland's rugged terrain, with its misty glens, towering mountains, and deep lochs, lends itself to an atmosphere of mystery and otherworldliness. It's no wonder, then, that many of Scotland's most enduring legends involve creatures that defy the boundaries of the natural world. Whether it's the Loch Ness Monster, the Kelpies that are said to inhabit Scotland's waterways, or the fairy folk that are believed to dwell in the country's hills and forests. The Unicorn, while not strictly a part of Scottish folklore, fits into this tradition of mythic creatures that exist just beyond the realm of the everyday, creatures that are as much a part of Scotland's cultural identity as its physical landscape. Moreover, the unicorn as a national symbol speaks to the way nations use mythology to construct and project their identities. 
National symbols are rarely chosen for their literal meanings, instead, they are selected for the ideas and values they represent. The unicorn, in this sense, is more than just a mythical animal. It's a metaphor for the qualities that the Scottish people see in themselves and their country. Just as the unicorn is said to be untamable, so too is Scotland portrayed as a nation that values its freedom and independence above all else. The unicorn's association with purity also speaks to Scotland's sense of moral integrity, while its mystical nature captures the country's unique blend of the historical and the fantastical. But this choice also reflects a broader human tendency to use myth and legend to make sense of the world. Myths are not just stories we tell to entertain or frighten. They are a way of exploring the deeper truths about who we are and where we come from. By choosing the unicorn as its national animal, Scotland is not just making a whimsical or imaginative decision, it is tapping into a long tradition of using mythology to define its identity. In many ways, the unicorn embodies the idea that Scotland is a place where reality and imagination coexist, where history is never far from legend, and where the past and the present are deeply intertwined. In modern times, the unicorn continues to be a beloved symbol of Scotland, appearing on everything from coins and stamps to government documents and tourist souvenirs. Its presence in popular culture, whether in films, books, or art, ensures that the unicorn remains a living, evolving symbol of Scotland's identity, one that speaks to the enduring power of myth in shaping how we see ourselves and our world. Far from being an arbitrary or fanciful choice, the unicorn as Scotland's national animal is a reminder of the deep connection between myth and reality, and of the ways in which the stories we tell about ourselves can become just as real, and just as powerful, as the physical symbols we choose to represent us. This interplay between the real and the imagined is at the heart of what makes Scotland, and its choice of the unicorn as a national symbol, so fascinating. It's a reflection of the country's ability to embrace both its rich history and its sense of wonder, to be at once grounded in the real world and open to the possibilities of the fantastical. Thus, the unicorn, a creature of legend, is an ideal representative for a country as unique and storied as Scotland. A place where myths come to life, where history and fantasy are woven together into a tapestry as rich and colorful as the land itself. And in choosing the unicorn as its national animal, Scotland reminds us all of the power of imagination and the enduring importance of myth in shaping our understanding of the world.